Okay, here we are, the first blog entry for Grain Storehouse, your preparation station. We have gone ahead and pre-moved to what was going to be our bug out location. Um, please don't think it's hiding in the hills. It's really just more the self-sustaining lifestyle that we've pushed towards having more often. Um, anyway, we are uh, up in the mountains, tucked away, kind of hidden off, and it's nice and peaceful, it's nice and quiet. This is the original house on my husband's family's ancestral land, a uh, 200-year-old home. That is actually the view from our front porch. That's not the house, but it's kind of cool. Um, very, obviously very rustic, very much handmade, still standing, and that's the original view. This is the barn that was built along with this house, I believe, at the same time. So this is the barn area. I'm going to just give you guys a little quick tour of um, what's down here. It's obviously needing some work. But what's cool is it comes with grapevines already growing. We'll have grapes this year, which is great because the house we lost had some grape vines used to make some really good grape jelly um, and obviously the inside of the barn needs some work <laughs> you think <laughs> just a bit and I see a rain barrel already back there that's gonna get pulled out soon um, something down here to show you this is on the property and this is probably my favorite feature not the nasty pile of somebody trashed up but running water you know how, and our dog getting in it, he loves the running water. You know how important water will be if ever there's the need to be completely self-sustaining. We're going to use this to irrigate the, the garden as well as generate power because it is constantly in a flow like this at least. Um, that's You're going to get to see that kind of from the start. Well, you're seeing it from the very start to here. We just got here last night. Woke up, I've let the sun rise a little bit, so, so it's, um, I don't know, it's a little after nine, so it's, you can actually see. Chew, come here, come on. Um, but the grounds are obviously a little bit hilly. It's a cool old barn though, we're gonna restore that piece by piece. It's, it's a slow process, so I hope you guys stay tuned in for a while. Um, All right, and also we have an apple tree, which is nice because automatic food is a good thing. You can hear the water's gotten really loud over there. All along the banks there are um, blackberries. Um, I'm giving you guys a lay of the land. I guess I can't. And then over here, this is part of my favorite part. Obviously this is kind of cool because you're up underneath here. And this is the spring house. Um, and a rock behind me. <laughs> We're going to restore this. It's still functional. There's still a spring running underneath it. If you don't know what a spring house is, um, it's used to keep things cold because the spring is obviously very cold. It will always be cold and it keeps flowing water. We're going to attach a windmill to pump and make sure the water keeps flowing as well as generate some energy through the spring house and keep things cold. You can keep dairy in there. This over here is the smokehouse. I'll go around the front in a minute, but that's the smokehouse. If we were to butcher any of our livestock, which we'll be getting, uh, we can smoke it in there. It may not stay a smokehouse. We may turn it into some other type of use. Um, I'm not personally really going to be butchering, but we do know somebody who has it in the area. Um, 
I mean, <laughs> if I look at a little lamb's face and have to end up eating it, I don't know, I may end up being a vegetarian for at least a while. Anyway, here is the garden center, garden area. Really excited about this because, you see the bugs. Really excited about this because um, we haven't had a garden in quite a while and that's one of our big things. I mean, since we lost the house, that's one of our big things to make sure you always grow food. And we've practiced it for several years. We just haven't had the, had the opportunity of recent. And yes, we're tucked in. There's a mountain right there. This is the back of the house. This is the house, actually, that we've got. No, uh, no washer or dryer. We do have an oven, but we also have a wood burning stove. We'll do the interior tour another time because right now it looks pretty rough. Uh, I, as in, we're still moving stuff in. Um, this is the front of the smokehouse. Kind of cool. I'm um, looking forward to doing that. And then, obviously, I think the spring house has got some vine issues. Probably leave some of those just because it's they've, they've been here longer than we have. Um, but we're back here. It's obviously very peaceful. You don't hear any cars. There is a road, but um, this is the side of the house. Has a little bit of overgrowth at the front. And um, we're really excited about it. We're, we're glad you're with us every step of the way now. Hopefully you can watch us as we restore and make this functional for preparation purposes, self-sustaining living. Uh, hopefully pick up some tips for other people and share some things and we can all do this together. Uh, so this is where it's starting. Hope you turn, tune in and hope you join in and give us some pointers and give us your ideas and hopefully we'll help you out as well. Have a great afternoon, great morning, great evening. God bless, and we'll see you again soon.